Will I advise a beginner to get a tabletop sewing machine? Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Osera Mayer and if you're here for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Please hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell as well so you're notified when I post my next video. On this channel, I share sewing tutorial, pattern drafting, all of that kind of content. And also sometimes I share tips and tricks like what I'm doing right now. And also I share behind the scene vlogs of probably what's going on with me. So if you're interested in all of that, please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. So on the channel today, we are going to be talking about sewing machine. Which one should you get as a beginner? So I've gotten so many people asking me, what is the name of my sewing machine? Which one should they get? Uh, what type should they get? Which one can I suggest? And I decided to make a video around it. Major question is usually whether you want to get an electric tabletop sewing machine or you get a manual sewing machine that doesn't need light. So I'm just going to compare the both of them for you guys and I'm going to be relating it to Nigeria and the situation here in Nigeria. So we will start off with the electric sewing machine. So as it sounds like, as we've already known, it is totally electric that means you cannot work without light so it's easy you don't have to go through the stress of pedaling and all of that it's fun it's easy to carry about that is one thing i love about it and you guys know that i use an electric um, tabletop sewing machine so would i advise a beginner to get a tabletop sewing machine yes is it durable yes for me the one i use People are always asking about the products that I use. I use Alpha and there are a lot of other brands of sewing machine, Butterfly, Singer, and many other ones out there. So at mine is called Alpha, just for you guys that always ask about my sewing machine. So the thing with tabletop sewing machine is you cannot sew when there is no light. And the situation with Nigeria, you are not even sure there will be light because most times um we can stay weeks without electricity and you cannot have that kind of sewing machine and collect clothes from people it's not possible you cannot collect clients clothes and now start, come and start telling them it's because there was no light that's what and um, that's why i was not able to deliver it doesn't even make sense they are not going to understand yes they're supposed to understand we are all living in nigeria we see the whole electricity issue Clients will not understand that there was no light. That's why you did not make their clothes. So um, that's what I wanted to put there. If you know you're not going to be able to um, have constant electricity, you cannot afford to buy gen and start fueling your gen for tabletop. But who wants to even do that? To buy gen, buy kiniko kiniko just for a tabletop sewing machine. Is it not best to just buy um, a manual sewing machine? Now moving on to manual. Manual is a little bit stressful because you have to pedal, but I think manual has its own good part because then it's most of it actually comes with the motor for electricity. Like you can use it when there's light and you can remove the electric part and just um, use the manual when there is no light. So with the manual sewing machine, you can work whether there's light or not. You see? You can work whether there's light or not and it's durable, it's strong. You can sew really strong pieces with it. Some tabletop sewing machines are not so strong. So there's, there's kind of like a limit to what you can sew with it. I'm actually lucky that mine is a little bit strong. Um, it sews almost everything. There is nothing I've put on that sewing machine that it didn't sew. But there are some electric tabletop sewing machine i have to be sincere with you guys that are not as strong as the manual so you might be limited because here in nigeria we sew a lot of ankara we do a lot of padding we do lace and all of that and that needs a very strong sewing machine so well we're talking about beginners and beginners might not even be interested in um, padding and all of that but then there's room for growth so everybody wants to grow so like I said before, the um, manual sewing machine will come with the electric motor. So that means you can work with the light when there's electricity. And if there's no light, you can actually work as well. So that is just the comparison. But personally, um, I would advise that if you do not have access to electricity, if you're not sure there will be constant light, if you're not sure that there will be light, simple english please just go for 
uh, a manual sewing machine as a beginner that would be easier for you that would just totally be easier for you but if you're sure you're going to be able to get constant electricity there'll be light for someone like me now i do not have a gen i do not use gen i just always work with whenever nepa decides to bring light but that depends on where you're staying that totally depends a lot on where you're staying and how confident you are in nepa Nobody can be confident in Nepal because even here right now, there are days that we can go two, three days without light. You will not hold anybody. Tabletop, like I said, is easier. You can carry it up and down. It's less stressful. You don't have to go through the whole pedaling and everything. And another thing is that you can have so many stitches in just one machine, which is actually a plus for most tabletop sewing machine but apart from the electricity issue which is like the major thing here in nigeria i think that as a beginner if you are in a place where there is constant electricity just get a tabletop sewing machine but if there is no light please buy a manual sewing machine and generally if you have enough money you have electricity you have everything you're thinking of buying a sewing machine you can always just get an industrial sewing machine easier for you that one is even better it's going to just be there for you and you can do everything with it last last whether you start with um a tabletop sewing machine whether you start with a manual sewing machine if you're seriously into this whole fashion thing and you want to move it to the next level you're going to have to buy an industrial sewing machine at the end of the day so yeah that's basically all i wanted to quickly share with you guys today i hope that you like it and i hope that this kind of answers that question of what sewing machine you should get as a beginner if you enjoyed this video please please give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe and if you've not seen any of my sewing tutorials i share a lot of sewing tutorials on this channel and trust me they are actually quite understandable so if, if you have not seen any of them just go into my channel check the um playlist section you will see a place where i labeled sewing tutorials is there's so many sewing tutorials on there and i have a place where i post vlogs and i have another space as well where i share fashion and styles which is something i'm also very interested in so thank you so much guys for watching i will see you guys in my next one bye